All right, ladies and gents, we're back after a bit of a break there. Uh, we got some replacement players on uh, each side, actually. But we're back here with game three coming at you now between Willowkeeper on the Legion side now. And the lazy feline, we like to call him Pim on the Hellborn side uh, here in game three. Score currently tied at one game apiece. And I'm, again, joined by Sauté. So, uh... How's it going, man? We're uh, we're in game three now, tied up. Yeah, this should be this should be definitely should be interesting. Uh, both teams kind of had a game where they ran the other team over, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, anything could happen. Yeah, I think uh, I agree with you there. You know, each side definitely looking to have their highs and lows, at least so far in this scrim series. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what game three has in store for us. We got Moira and Nymphora Engineer banned out by Hellborn. All support bans there. Andromeda, Monarch, and Blitz. So six support bans. Three from each side. Does that surprise you that we see so many support bans? They have been valuing it this series, so it doesn't surprise me in that, re that regard. But, you know, they're still banning out the, the Riadro Engineer and... Uh, <laughs> like I don't think though, either of those bands are kind of worth it when it's Reandro Engineer or Blitz in general. I don't think that's worth a first band, but uh -huh. they played against it and they decided that's not something they want to face. Monarch band is really strong, Andro band, of course. And then the Nupora that really caused them problems in game one is also a really good band. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, Cthulhu font first pick here from Hellborn. I don't think we've seen any Cthulhu font today, but we all know the capabilities of that hero in game one beans huh they literally played in the game one i think really i got i gotta check this now i don't, I don't oh, think they, we, they didn't I'm, i don't I'm think there was it. a cthulhu font this series it's just uh, the game before that he played it but uh okay uh, my bail they didn't play it uh, today so first first cthulhu front of the day and they picked yeah. that eater and then on, aluna uh, again the inside seen a lot of aluna this series she's been highly valued by both teams Okay, so uh, two picks there from Legion. Then we have Kinesis and Chipper on the side of Pim. And it uh, looks like they've grabbed their two supports in their position three, most likely with the Cthulhu font. Uh, what do you think of the Kinesis pick thus far? Typically, we see the Thought Steel to kind of counter or pick up a really good spell. He's got Pitfall and Emerald Lightning so far. Those don't really scream to me amazing Thought Steel skills, but uh, I'll get your take on it. I mean, both of them are decent. Like, oh, yeah. the is quite decent. The pitfall is re is decent if you have anything to set it up with. But mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't. I would not pick Kinesis here without anything like big from the Legion side, screaming like the Magnus pick or anything that's gonna be really strong. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's uh, an interesting pick, not a you know fantastic one, but we'll we'll see what he brings to the table this game. Maybe he'll deter them from picking some. Heroes that they may have otherwise wanted, um, in that regard at least. But uh, bands are almost done here. We have what looks like to be carry targeted bands following the support banning phase one. We have Sandwraith and Ugi, Lord Sulforus and Flux. So a mixture of mids and, and carries so far. Yep. One more band apiece. But anything stand out to you thus far in the bands? So they ban the flocks, but the combo potential with the gladiator, I assume. And then they have uh, so forest ban and Sandwraith ban, Madman ban, Ogi ban. I don't know. It's just uh, I think this is mostly just strong heroes, as both lineups are kind of not showing what they want to do yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any significant synergy with any of the heroes outside of maybe the flocks. So okay. it's just a strong case. I don't think they feel like they want to face, like feel comfortable facing. Okay. Yep. Good points. Um, two picks coming up for Legion. They have 50 seconds overtime, so they got plenty of time to kind of shape up the lineup here or think about it at least. We see some shadow picks of Devo, Solstice, and Fade. Do you think we'll see any of those actually picked up here? I highly doubt it. The Fade could be played here. Mm -hmm. And I know Mindtrax plays Solstice and TMM, but. Uh... 
uh, yeah, Fate is a, a trademark Songbug hero in TMM at least, so the Fate could be played and uh, Deadwood. so Deadwood here. I don't think any of the heroes are gonna be picked now when they pick up the Deadwood. Would be kind of clunky with the Solstice position. I will say though, that is a nice thought steal skill for Kinesis, having the Rotten Grass. That's a pretty strong one, at least in the early game. Yeah, with a few levels in the, in thought steal is pretty good, but level one rot Rotten Grass is kind of bad. Mm -hmm. Gonna go with a carry pick here, gonna be the Forsaken Archer. Could be possibly running the all in Forsaken one roll. There's, they're kind of building a lot of team fight presence around him so far, or some ganking presence rather, but uh, what do you think of the Forsaken pick so far? He's going up against a potential Cthulhu font aggression mana plane. That's what I was about to say. I dislike that a lot, since uh, the tri lane of Cthulhu and Kinesis Chipper right now beats anything they can put together on Legion side, and there's no defensive support. Uh, there's not banned to save the FA. Yeah. I feel like if they put the Cthulhu versus the FA, they're just going to run him over and he's going to die every single time he goes up to, up to the wave. So it's it's uh, quite the greedy carry here without any escape or defensive uh, help. Mm -hmm. Especially when they already have Cthulhu fend on the, the help on side. So with but, the uh, Forsaken pick, should they look to try to dodge the Cthulhu lane? Like kind of get him uh, a better lane matchup and, and avoid him all, altogether? Or... Or what do, you, what do you suggest they should do? I think so. I don't think there's any like last hero they can pick on Legion side that will give them a try lane that can beat it. Yeah. And now they pick uh, up the Benzington, which is more in-your-face aggression for the FA to deal with. And Legionnaire, Legionnaire on top of that? Oh, man. Be so happy, man. Oh, my God. Are we going to see some go. jungling here, perhaps? I mean, it's not set in stone that we'll see a jungling Legionnaire, but... Uh... Boy, man, if we see a jungler, I'm going to be pretty excited. There's a, a final pick, Lodestone, from the Legion side. So they're going to pick up uh, what appears to be their position three. They will run a support Deadwood then, I do believe. Will be the secondary support here. Um, building another team fight presence zero around the Forsaken. But, uh, okay, but yeah, we got a couple of things to talk about here before game three is underway. First of all... How do you how do you like Legion's lineup as they finish it off there with the Lodestone? I think they have uh, three strength heroes and uh, F8 they have no chance of saving. I feel like their laning is gonna be highly suspect, but uh, then again they picked up the Legionnaire on Hellborn, so they're not gonna be able to try lane on on the Legion side without or a Hellborn side without uh, giving up uh, one of the lanes, which they're obviously not gonna do. <laughs> So I feel like they, the Legionnaire pick is here is really bad, considering they should not be able to do anything with the FA. They're going to give the FA free farm, which is a suicide now, or 2-1-2, two, two, I suppose. But uh -huh. it's going to be three people bottom for uh, for the Legion side, so they should win the tri lane and secure free farm from, for FA, uh, along with being able to stack the jungle. Yeah, so, you know, prior to that Legionnaire pick, um, the FA was looking to be almost like a bad pick because the, you know we pointed out there's no defensive support to keep them alive against the man up tri lane they had stronger potential lanes with the first three picks that they made and now it's almost like they kind of did a complete 180 turn with their draft idea there and then they go ahead and pick up a jungler he does have items that suggest he's going to be jungling as well so this will more or less give up free farm to the forsaken is it safe to say they're going to need to have a, a pretty big impact here from Legionnaire in Game 3? I think that's pretty pretty safe to say, yeah. If they don't have a uh, like significant impact from the Legionnaire, which is a good hero versus the FA, by the way. It's really mm -hmm. strong. Yeah, we can't if we can, rule can, that out. Running, but uh, we'll see how well he jungles here. He's not going to have any camps blocked, so this should be like 450 GPM Legionnaire with Whispering Helm. So chat brought up the idea of Chipper stacking the jungle for Legionnaire. Is that something to also perhaps consider here as uh, that could accelerate the amount of stacks he has to work with in the, the first 10 minutes here? I think so, but if he does the right rotation, is there anything he really can get stacked for him? Not necessarily. It might, might give him an extra right, stack or two early on that could get him a little bit faster uh, XPM, but... 
Uh, right now we see currently nothing blocked here from the Legion side, so he's going to have his whole jungle to work with. And definitely he should be looking to, to have a good time here. But uh, we have the defensive tri lane with Forsaken going up against the Cthulhu font. They have the lane ward down here from Aluna as well. We see the pressure already forcing out the trample. Forsaken just going to have complete free uh, creep space down here in the bot lane. Kinesis versus Gladiator 1v1. I'll let you talk about that matchup since you're the, the mid player to be honest, uh, Gladiator should absolutely stomp him here. I don't think uh, Kinesis can do anything versus the Gladiator as uh, he is kind of missing some last of the as the case is die and die a lot. We shouldn't be able to with only 59 attack damage versus 65 when I hatch it or a melee hatch it and, and whip. So I feel like uh, Gladiator should just uh, take this matchup pretty handily as Kinesis can't really take the uh, Gladiator Q, that's not going to give him anything. You know? Initiation top lane, Rocket Drill coming in on the chipper. Two versus three, that's gonna be our bloodless skill. Legionnaire going in with some spins, he pops the health pot. He more or less wasted the health pot too, as it got cancelled after one or two ticks there. But what is uh Legionnaire doing in this part of the jungle? Was he trying to Oh he's gonna die to creep? What no he's gonna die, but what is he doing in this part of the jungle? Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised as well. He's got the uh, stacks in the middle here to work with, perhaps he wants to triple those, but you're just gonna buy him a health pot, luckily for him. Yep. Gonna get health potted there by the chipper. He'll have some triple stacks to work with, but... Yeah? I mean, they gave up the bloodlust there. Some, uh... Inefficiency with the health pot as well. We have 12 and 3 Kinesis against... 10 and 2 Gladiator. Pitfall coming in! Rocket! Oh, we're gonna have a kill there! With the assistance of the rockets, and Kinesis doing a great job here in mid lane so yeah, far. Rocket really playing well here, but yeah, I don't think this should be able to happen. As he picked up the power supply, which I like, and he could get the, he could even get the iron shield, then he should be pretty immune to whatever Kinesis can do to him. But uh, now he has a lead, and this could pretty fast fire out of control if he gets to that enough lane here. If he can't get a ball, like reasonably fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane, that was just a FA and Deadwood taking out the Cthulhu. I think he even had the trample up, so maybe the uh, um, double immobilize <laughs> stopped his trample from even being able to be casted there. Good job from Legion to, to lock him down. They take out the Cthulhu, and he's only on 68 gold per minute. He's just hitting level 2 here, so they did a great job of shutting him out early on. I'm surprised they boxed him this well uh, with only two people. That one other guy being uh, the Deadwood, but they're doing a really good job right now. He's gonna get the pull off here. Maybe um, he can grab. Oh, he couldn't grab the kid. Got to it. Yeah, he tried to. Uh, Deadwood tried to grab them with his body there to prevent the pull, but this will uh, this will get him the the lane control that he's looking for, and he'll get some experience at the very least. Rotten Grass gonna miss there as the trample avoids it. I will say he is using the best Forsaken skin. A more old school guy. The original gold skin. The uh, gold er, Forsaken, Forsaken Strider. Strider. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of the name there. Kinesis gets a regen rune. He's gonna use it immediately. We have Lodestone on 320 GPM in the top lane. He's doing very well. The Bensington's struggling actually. He's only on 18 and 3 compared to 22 and 1 Lodestone. Chipper, I think, hasn't really been up here the, the most. And it is a dual lane, so I'm a little bit surprised by that as well. But he's making his way up here now. I would like to see people rotate over to me to kill this Kinesis as soon as uh, he gets level 6 on the Gladiator. That's a very easy kill. Yeah. I agree. He's almost at level 6. He's probably got about 2 or 3 more creeps before he hits level 6 there. Rocket's missing from Chipper, trying to cancel that mana pot from Aluna. Third one will connect though. Health pot from Lodestone given to Aluna. But uh, Legionnaire, he's level 7 now at 5 minutes, so he's doing a pretty good job on XPM. He's way above anybody else right now. Works on an easy camp stack. 
Um, I believe he's going to be going the Whispering Helm here. He's saving up just about enough gold here to finish that. See if he uh, buys that here, pending his next camp kill. But, uh, Bensington just hits level 5, no Nightfall just yet. Uh, once he does hit level 6, where do you think we should see the first Nightfall usage? Mid lane. They have a... Kinesis Lift match to set Kinesis it up. Kinesis is mm -hmm. like the best skill that you can It's perfect for setting him. It's a 2 second, it takes 2 seconds to channel for, uh, for the Bensex on. So they should be able to start on the, the Gladiator with the Kinesis. Okay, yep. So, a little bit to go there before that. He's currently only a quarter of the way to level 6. Chipper and a Luna going at it here. Didn't see who got the top room, but it looks like Aluna bottled it up. Yeah. Pitfall, gonna connect there on the chipper. Here comes the stun from Aluna, power throw. Gonna go through the focus buffer, but there's a stasis smash coming in from Kinesis. Aluna, will she hold her ground? She will go down. Here comes the combo coming in from the lodestone, and they do take him out. Chipper also falls to the gladiator there. He ate the, he ate the, the Congo rock, but apparently it survived and got killed by, uh, by the gladiator. Oh no. So cool. So he tried to deny himself there to the Kongor. But we see a 4 to 2 hero kill the affiliation. With his ultimate, right? If you keep the creep left and also advance, you do more damage because that's how you do it, right? Yeah, he would have been able to insta kill the Luna and get out of there. Ah, uh, okay. We have an invis deadwood up here. In the top lane. Here comes the initiation from Lodestone. Rotten Grass gonna connect. Focus buff are gonna mitigate some power throw damage there, and that might be the difference as Bensington is gonna survive. It's not have a TP on him currently, so he's gonna walk back to base, but does have the nightfall now ready to go. No stasis smash for 30 seconds. You pointed out they could look to use that on the gladiator. Pitfall hits there on the Kinesis. Picks up armor boots, by the way. Yep. What do you think of the armor boot pickup here on the Kinesis? Okay. Bottom lane, they use piercing arrows, the immobilized combination catches Cthulhuphon out, they, they lock him down. Here comes some ultimates being used here, call to arms. But here comes the counter with the Nightfall. Joust is going to hit, and he's going to go down. The call to arms debuff not going to give him enough mitigation there to keep him alive. Great gang, they even saved the stasis match from Kinesis. I would like to see the uh, the devil stack the entire forest now, as there's actually not a single stack for the FA, which I think is kind of a mistake. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's, so he's gonna got the... he's gonna jungle from now on with the whispering helm and give the space bottom to Deadwood, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yep. What they're planning to do. I agree. Let's see Luna getting caught up here. Decapitate. Yeah. Gets the kill there. So they they brought him down low enough on HP. I think was... a blink on uh, on Legionnaire right now. I think he bought it right now without no boost or anything. Yeah, he did not go for the Whispering Helm, so he's gonna have the very early portal key here at eight minutes. So, what's your thoughts about him going the portal key? Uh, you know, before finishing any build up items. I don't think he needed to finish the the whispering helm necessarily, but getting it without boots seems kind of interesting to me. Are you gonna be going anywhere before the boots anyway? Right? Like, is he gonna run all the way top with no boots? Uh, we could see that. Now he does have level three of taunt. He has chosen to only put two in terrifying charge, but he does have the whirling blade maxed out. So he does have some. Uh, extra lockdown with the taunt being skilled three points, which does make the portal key a little bit better. Being as he has his portal key in the bags, but it's true he doesn't use it. Yeah. In the carrier, like, wh why did you buy? Maybe he's saving for boots before sending it out. Yeah, he's got almost enough gold. About. That seems kind of weird to me. Why would you buy it? Not buy boots first. Cthulhuphon is now more or less in a 1v1 with Deadwood. Deadwood just hits level 6 here. I think any rotation down to bottom would be a dead Cthulhuphon. I miss another kill. I'm just missing all the kills, unfortunately, this game. That was a Shatterstorm combo from Aluna. They had enough damage. Bensington not really the tankiest hero. Might try to hit the... Uh, there's the Willowmaker coming out first. They used the piercing arrows and the, the volley at first, but yeah. 
There's uh, the kill on Cthulhu Fauna. I like that rotation. Now they might look to push the tower as well. Kinesis picks up a major totem. Is he going to be going for Void Talisman? Even into, I guess Energizer, Codex, Sackstone. Uh, would Sackstone oh, be good? There's a knife all following it up as well. Golden Apple comes out. Double volley. This Vanzington might have just sacrificed himself. Somebody cancelled their TP, or maybe it was cancelled by the Kinesis Pitfall in the mid lane. I think that was Gladiator's TP. So, no counter kills coming out, actually. Meanwhile, Gladiator getting caught here by Cthulhu Font. Aluna comes in. But she's got to be careful as well. I think she might have just sacrificed herself as well. Not the right decision from Maluna, as she goes down as well. I mean, on the right side, the the, hell, the FA survives, and he really shouldn't have us. Yeah. The best if had a stun to just kill him with, but uh, didn't choose to use it just yet. So just blink on uh, on Lodestone, by the way. So let's see if Briandra can utilize this early blink here. Yep. Both sides having one portal key now apiece. Kinesis does go the sack stone, so maybe we'll see the gnome's wisdom follow up because uh, the only healing he has is the bottle. Um, aside from this uh, sack stone giving some early stats for its cost, there we see the striders and the chalice. No, but uh, if he picks up a gnome's, it would be a pretty good synergy. Gnomes, yeah. I'm not sure I like the sack stone, honestly. It's really expensive. 1500 gold. Mm -hmm. What would you have uh, liked to have seen otherwise? I like uh, early blink or storm or tablet or early. Pitfall, like, gonna miss here. I don't like it. Though. Yeah. Um, bottom lane, a Legion Air Taunt sets up a kill on the Deadwood. <laughs> So we're seeing a lot of uh, aggressive play coming in from Legionnaire here. Top lane. I missed that, but I, I want to imagine that was Lowstone going in first. He didn't have enough damage and Bensington turned it around. But I'm a bit surprised that Bensington was able to solo kill the Lowstone. Oh, the power throw just missed. Bensington used the joust there. Great timing. I don't think he should have been able to. I think Riando missed off the combination and then, uh, or just not didn't have enough damage if uh, Benzaton is on uh, strength boots. Mm -hmm. So Benzington only on 285 GPM. It looks like he goes to knuckles. So this is kind of you know we were talking about in game two the puppet master struggled. He went he opted to not go for a knuckles, but Benzington does here. I almost feel like it's too late because. It's not going to get that built up until much later on. Yeah, I agree. However, the Legion Arrow is taking really working out so far. 500 GPM, 201. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no kills on Ender. He's working on something Ender, which is very strong. It's just a Shaliken team. Only the Deadwood Punch can lock him down there. Yep. As they killed the... A lot of rotations up here, four people. They were currently, or previously working on some of the Hellborn's jungle with Forsaken. So they rotate up there to kill the Bensington and now they'll probably push that tower. And Legionnaire also in the Legion jungle, stealing some of the stacks here. Or perhaps making his own stacks down here, hitting level 13. Remains the highest level in the game. Two levels above the Forsaken Archer. Okay, see a shadow storm being channeled here. There's the stasis match. It does connect on the lodestone, but he will come down. And here comes the nightfall from Bensington. Lands right in the face of Aluna. He misses the joust though, oh, and he is going to get counter killed most likely here. Here comes the taunt from Legionnaire, trying to save his teammate. He does take out the Aluna. Will he survive though? Is the question. It looks like he will. Piercing arrows in the background. Dream of Madness activated from the Cthulhu font. He's not the most tanky, holding his ground with the Obliterate, but he's sitting in the Chainsaws. That's Actually, that's his own teammate, Chainsaws. <laughs> 20 seconds, or 20 HP. Yeah, he survives here really, on the Kinesis. Really, uh, messy fight here, but I don't know if we even won that. Um, I suppose, since they kept FA alive and... 
died yet again. Yeah, it was a three for two in favor of Hellborn, but FA survives again. Bensington falls, so I guess you got to give the uh, favor there to Legion. Oh, and, uh, and we he pulled it out with a kill on. Uh... Was he was he still hanging around with like? Yeah, he was. He just oh my god, the greediness of Slaske. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, I was it not expecting anything to happen because I figured they would just reset, but Slaske, he does Slaske stuff, hangs around too long, gets caught. Unfortunate. But good pick off from Legion. So, no Fireblade is the follow up to the Whispering Helm from Forsaken. He's. Almost caught up with Legionnaire here at roughly 500 GPM. Do you like the Null Fire Blade pick up here? Uh, yeah, it's really good versus the uh, Legionnaire. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Legionnaire. He's gonna get mana burned. Won't be able to get off a Decapitate. FA still holding her ground as Cthulhuphon getting turned on here. This was more of a bait than anything. They had four players in the area. Not the best piercing arrows here. Legionnaire gonna get his portal key disabled. There's the Falcon Punch coming in from Deadwood. And they make it a two for nothing trade here. Or exchange. Shatterstorm being channeled in the mid lane here. Here comes the TP. Power throw comes in. But he's going to steal the rocket drill. He's going to make the escape on the uphill. And he just kind of speedies his way up there. Might even take out the creep there from Forsaken. As he uh, buys the level two. Or the level three null fire blade being sent to him. But, uh, uh, yeah, he goes for a Mighty Blade uh, on Kinesis. You think he'll buy, be buying a Shrunken Head then? I suspect so. I think that's a Shrunken Head coming out. <clears throat> Which is kind of good, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know what you build on core Kinesis like this. Don't you usually get gnomes and. And like yeah, usually stuff. Gnome's Tablet, Jade Spiral come to mind. Um, Eating a lot of rockets on uh, FA here. Oh, is this Legionnaire going to be able to taunt him? He's trying to get in range. There's a pitfall. Oh. It does miss. Legionnaire is going to catch him. He gets purged. He, he doesn't get the taunt off. And here comes the showdown from Gladiator. Bensington gonna miss his initiation, but he does catch him with the Joust, and they will bring down the Forsaken for the first time this game. Here comes the Trample from Cthulhuvon, activates their Dream of Madness in the background, chasing onto both Aluna and Gladiator, but here comes the team support, as it's, yeah, it's a buyback from Forsaken, he wants to get back in the action here. Here comes the Showdown, Pitfall going to miss though from Gladiator, Bensington also misses the Joust, takes a smash holding down Gladiator. Forsaken Archer holding his ground, he gets taunted up by Legionnaire, but no mana does take out the Gladiator. And here comes Great the... Taunt by Lowstone. Yep, he's gonna hit the, uh, the rocket roll there, as Kinesis gonna go down there. I believe Piercing Arrows, or Crippling Volley rather, missing. But still, he gets a hat trick. The lockdown from his team was just too much. And it is a full genocide. So the... Yeah, the buyback gonna prove to be very good here. Picking him up a hat trick. And he is now up like to 580. Have, uh... Just went back on Hellborn team after he bought back, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They went back in when only the the Cthulhu fan was in the fray, but they missed both the grasp and the, and the, the pitfall showdown combination from Gladiator, so I feel like they could have just ran to base and been really happy with the pickoff on FA and the buyback, but... Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, not going their way. Definitely going to be something to look back on here is... They could have reset with the buyback, but they're going to end up giving up a genocide there. Almost 600 GPM now on the FA. Looks like she'll be going for what I believe to be a firebrand. And uh, do you think he'll skip Shrunken at all together this game and just go into either a, a Geobane or a Dawnbringer here? Or do you think we'll see firebrand into Shrunken? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like you should get a Shrunken at here. Like, what are they going to do to him? They're going to lead to taunt him? They pick up a storm on Hellborn or Legion team, and then then he's gonna get stormed. Sit the one second without the shrunken, and then shrunken up, and then they're just gonna kill them because mm -hmm. they won't have the damage to kill him when he has shrunken up. Bloodstone already has a codex, by the way, following the portal key. He's got pretty nice follow up here, 380 gold per minute following the FA there. Yep. 
There's a lot of stacks in there. Help on boost. Oh, Luna. She steals, I think, some of those ancients. Almost actually kills Legionnaire. It's pretty good power throws coming in from a Luna. But we have chainsaws down and the obliterate activated from Cthulhu Font. They take out the lodestone. See, did not get his Shatterstorm channeled there. So he just gets completely caught out by the Hellborn side. And it looks like it will be a shrunken in the works for Kinesis with the Warhammer picked up. Again, I, I don't really know if I necessarily like this item build here from Kinesis. I feel like there could have been some better options for him. I agree. I don't uh, <coughs> think this is the way to go, but uh, I don't know the, the Kinesis core that well. So there's a lot of stacks in Helbin Woods, which Legionnaire is still taking. I think they should do something to get this uh, fencing zone back into the game. I don't think they can uh, depend on this Legionnaire to outcarry the FA, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They get the Kongor taken out here at the 21 minute mark. First Kongor of the game. Here comes a Nightfall, there's the Shrunken Head. Todd coming in, they're gonna burst down the Forsaken. They bring him down, here comes a Joust on the Aluna. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? He will Deja Vu port into danger. <laughs> that was kinda interesting. That's uh... It's gonna be a death regardless. Kinda out with the bed, uh, the red this hero used the the last auto attack from Benson Town with Lance along was gonna miss him, but uh, Yeah he didn't use happen. the uh, Emerald Red actually. Or at least it's still available. Yeah it's yeah, off uh, cooldown actually. Should have been uh, should have been down for a minute. So yeah the shrunken head pickup from Legion are gonna be pretty good. Kinesis also used his shrunken head. Missed that one but Gladiator trying to split, but she picks up a tablet. Do you like the tablet pickup on Gladiator this game? I think tablet Gladiator is you know, in, in general pretty good. Uh, I don't know why Quietly felt like he needed a tablet. Some games, I just it's just a feeling you have. I would like a tablet this game, but... Uh, I feel like Storm is just better than tablet this game, but... Yeah, especially... Getting it game. early on is going to be okay, regardless. Pitfall gonna miss there is uh, didn't get the showdown catch before the portal key happened. Legion side pretty much all in their own jungle. Expecting Forsaken to possibly get jumped here. Uh, we haven't really talked about Dead with this game. He's he's doing okay. He's almost 300 gold per minute. That's and quite good. He's got a Lex and a PK. Four. Yep. Supporting the FA at the stage when the guy started the game. He has Chunkin head needs, like, activated here by Legionnaire. I don't know if that was a misclick or not. See, he had already portal key so. the way. I want to say he didn't mean to do that, but there's the storm spirit coming in from Gladiator. So they do now have a port or a storm spirit to work with, which I do really like. We talked about the benefits of that against our, the Hellborn side. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like the game has kind of slowed down a bit. We have uh, only a 4,500 gold lead from Legion. Not the scariest, but again, they have the farm on the FA, which they're pretty comfortable with. with. Yeah, I think uh, slowing down the game is really good for them, because what is this uh, Bessing Dunner going to do to get back into the game and kill she things with uh, Thunderclaw? That's going to be so slow. Yeah, he's only 300 GPM. and. I feel like uh, they're putting a little bit too much hope into the Legionnaire at this point. I see and finishes he... in Sanitarius. Do you like that, Vince? You know, it's going to enhance his damage output. It's going to help him with the single kill, but I almost feel like he would have rather had either a demonic or something else. Oh, they would almost solo killing the Kinesis. 30 yeah. Surviving. Here comes the Nightfall. They're going for the Forsaken. They do get the taunt on him. He's trying to get in range for it to decapitate, but he's gonna get pulled back by the showdown. And they're gonna kite him. And it's gonna be disastrous for Hellborn. Great save with the storm on Gladiator as he picks it up as you were talking about it. Yeah, it was huge. That's that's just an item that's just so good against Hellborn. 
And it might not be done yet. Gladiator gets the showdown here. I think there's a rocket drill. He gets Stasis smashed up. Storm's gonna keep him in place. And <laughs> there's the codex. That looked funny. The codex comes in. Finish him off. And it ends up being a four for nothing fight here from Legion. And if, if anything, that's just gonna further increase uh, Legion kind of getting Hellborn out of that timing window that they have to kind of take uh, you know take this game through here. Yeah. There's the Geobane he is picked up. Off for the entire Geobane. I'm really like he's all he's been dying these two times. Like luck, like they can kill him if they jump him. I, I, yeah. I don't like this honestly. I feel like he should be just getting the instant trunk as they catch the Ventington now. Yep, there's a stomp from the Minotaur. Following up the, the pitfall there. And yeah, it just continues to kind of look more and more grim for Hellborn as Legion's capitalizing on the last few team fights here. Oh. What? The rocket's hitting the veiled rocket Lowstone. Did you see that? That looked funny actually. No. Did he know he was there? Maybe they yeah, knew where he was. But he has a, uh, had a haste rune as well. Yeah, was, he cancelled my HP pot. He's not too happy with that. He's gonna haste back to base. But meanwhile, his team is taking up the Hellborn's Kongor. And they do not have any way to deal with this. That is going to go down here. And. Will be no token of life, at least. I don't think so. There's three minutes still on their own Kongor. Yeah. They just get a bit of gold in the buff here. It's decent. Lost on mid lane. Yeah, they're gonna get the catch on him here. Do they have the lockdown? Here come the rockets! Not gonna be needed as Dilophon getting turned on by Forsaken Archer as well. The league gonna continue to grow here for Legion. Bitfall gonna connect on Kinesis. Everything going their way at this point. Shunken head wears off and he gets caught. As well, we fight with uh, Legionnaire and the Hellborn Jungle, and Vincent didn't respawn yet, so yeah, quite questionable go here from uh, the Hellborn side in the middle lane. But they did kill the, the he's gonna jump on the FA, he gets his knock. Uh, yeah, he gets storm. his own chunk and head off. There's the storm, but he's gonna get decapitated, and Benzik is gonna trade lives with the Forsaken <laughs> as they're thinking about maybe going back in. Luna didn't have her stun up. But it ends up being a double tap for Legionnaire. A good secondary fight here. As uh, the, the FA falls again. Big deal. Yep. They killed the FA. Slow him down a little bit more. Does pick up a Mighty Blade, however. It's working toward the Shrunken now. As they have... Three Storm Spirits on Legion. So, you know, they won't be able to chain storm one guy, but they can kind of storm each other or storm themselves. But do you, think, do you almost feel that that's overkill picking up three of them? It's going to be a little hard to coordinate sweet spot, who they can. Uh, so, you like the, the three? No, I think the two is oh, the sweet two, spot. Oh, two is the sweet spot, okay. I think three is, uh, is a one too many. Yeah. As you said, uh, other defensive items could have had value this game, but uh, it's, not, it's never bad, you know, it's never too bad to have a storm. <laughs> Just could have been a bit better as... Uh, <clears throat> yep, we as see Gladiator going minions. for the Shamans, so Definitely. possibly a barrier idol. Prevent the Nightfall damage, the Chainsaw damage, some... Cthulhu font damage as well. I think a lot of merits to the Barry Rattle for Legion. Yeah, Barry is alright. Can they get Kong this? How long is it on the Kong Slayer right now? No, I don't think they have enough time. Uh, I mean, they, they, they might. might. They still have it. They're using piercing arrows. Oh man, it's gonna be close. They punched it as well. Oh, they didn't. They didn't kill it. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. They punched it, they codex did they did everything. They, they were missing call to arms. <laughs> yeah. They didn't all commit to the cause. Yeah, I was actually pretty sure that they didn't have enough time, but it was really close, actually. Oh my god. Power throws no mistake up, Ensington. They saw him on the reward, I guess. 
Uh, is that it's blocking the camp? Yeah, I don't think Legionnaire wants to jump a lodestone with haste. That's that's one of the harder kills for a Legionnaire to take out a, a lodestone with plates. Oh, he gets caught. Here comes the Shatterstorm, but he shrunk and heads the showdown pullback, so. They will blow cooldown, being the Shatterstorm at least. Shrunk can pick up on FA finally. Oh, wow, he has the full shrunken already. So, uh, over 600 GPM here. <clears throat> um, do you like the bulwark into Mighty Blade on Cthulhu font? This is not your typical Cthulhu font item build, I would say. No, I, to me it's not good. I don't know why he doesn't have a blink. I don't know why he's getting a Mighty Blade instead of Staff. It's... Why is the, yeah, what is the Mighty Blade for? A Staff, I suppose, which is good on Elephant, but you don't have blink. So yeah. how are you going to get it off? Like, I don't see you with the bulwark is for even, like, yeah, the amplified ne uh, negative armor is fine, but yeah, I don't really understand these items on, uh, on Racing K, to be, to be quite frank. Barbed armor and Legionnaire, that's a, I, I would say a pretty st staple pickup for him. Like um, it, yeah. Yep. If he uses that with Shrunken, he cannot get the Barbed Purged by the Nullfire Blade. Yeah, but it's just a little bit of damage. If they can kill the FA, they can win fights. It's just uh, down to Legion being able to kill the FA alive, so... To me, I don't know... They should just keep dodging until the FA has one more item. Like, if he can finish, in ta uh, finish uh, Satanic or something... Uh, Super Rage, excuse me, then... Uh, yep. Then I don't think they are able to kill him in the game. So yeah, no token, unfortunately, going to probably deter them from going high ground, at least for now. Yeah. Um, and Forsaken, I believe she did just farm up a buyback, but definitely wants to build toward her next item. They could buy the Barrier Rital on Gladiator if he wants that. He has 2,000 gold, but it's like he's opting not to go for one. Maybe he wants a portal key? Um, uh, I would like to finish him, uh, see him finish uh, the, the bear idol, because I don't know why he picks up the shaman. Like, do you get a tablet storm into then uh, early shamans? Like shamans is good early, and you mm -hmm. become that much tanker and can do more fights. But right now it's kind of. Well, the maker comes out on the kinesis. Here's the no barbed. Yeah. Yep. Gets lifted. Deadwood. Gonna it's gonna be again. fine for now. Yep. Calls RMC buff, helping them with the damage mitigation. As he storms himself while the comes call to arms goes through Thrall. <clears throat> what do you think of the twin blade pickup on Benzington? Oh, he's yeah. getting solo killed here by the Lodestone. The combo gonna be used quite well there. The Codex 5 finishing him off. What do you think of the uh, twin blade on Benzington? That does seem quite unusual. That seems uh, quite bad to me, but I don't know, maybe he wants to go into Bash or not, uh, next, like, uh, why, why, why don't he get like Geo so he can get out of a uh, FA uh, uh, that uh, in here so he can fight into this team, or uh, I think something useful would be better. Yeah, I don't really like the item progression here at Benzington, and the longer the game goes, it just seems to keep he keeps going down in GPM, FA goes up, it's just looking more and more Legion favorite here as they continue to grow their G uh, their gold lead at 17,000 here, experience lead at 10,000, which isn't... Sorry, my door is ringing. Yep, you're good. The experience lead is quite good, but again, not insurmountable by all means. Um, but we're starting to enter that very large gold uh, deficit for Hellborn here. Then we're gonna throw out the root here. Does he have Willowmaker? No, he's not gonna use it, at least for now. Does storm him up. Here comes the punch, the power throws, two on top, and the Codex takes him out. Following the rocket drill, they will get the kill there on the Cthulhu font. <clears throat> Legion are holding a lot of gold here. Not sure what he's gonna go for next. 
has uh, I think a lot of things he can replace the chalice with could go into post haste but probably not what he's looking to do just yet <clears throat> I, I honestly would like to see either a demonic or a staff uh, on legionnaire I think that would be quite good See the Congor being attempted here. This would be the fourth Congor of the game for Legion. No Congors from Hellborn. Looks like they will get the Congor kill here. Bloodstone picking up the post taste is going to port to the base. No Willowmaker on the Deadwood for 10 seconds. Tower going to stay alive for now. Tablet gonna avoid the uh, Shadow Storm initiation. They will get it on Kinesis, but he pops the Shunkin. And they only lose the Chipper here. For now, there's a Haste Rune spawning for Kinesis. Gonna activate it right away. We just saw Chipper fall in the top lane. And Kinesis going to avoid the crippling volley actually from that pull pullback from Gladiator. But here comes the piercing arrows. This should be a, a dead. Kinesis. Picks up a simple rage. It's kind of looking grim for me from the Hellborn side here. I don't think they have the tools to kill FA and Metzington mm -hmm. solidifying that with a turn blade flick off. Yeah, Kinesis unfortunately got his haste and purged by Forsaken. And now Elephant buys a, a barbed armor after the body blade that he still hasn't used. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of scratched my head a little bit. I mean, the barbed is okay, but I feel like without the staff, they don't necessarily get forced to hit him. It's much more difficult for the Dream of Madness to uh, kick in with the barbed coming into play. But yeah, Benzington has been very underwhelming this game. Only 300 gold per minute. So. Uh, Gladiator seems to get the uh, one now. Instead of finishing him, his barrier, I'd love, we'd really love to see him do that still. As he still is 400 damage mitigated for his entire team. Mm -hmm. It's kind of getting kind of late for that, so I guess he's just gonna get the full the demonic soon, which is also a very strong tool. The second did finish her symbol, which we talked about being quite good. Uh, I. Ooh, portal keys avoiding each other there. Um. What what do you think Legionnaire should buy? He's, he could replace the Chalice here with something. I mean, Bulwark, so he can't really get a demonic. I guess uh, I don't know. He needs a damage item. Right? He needs a, or maybe a health bar. Stormshare from Deadwood. He's gonna get the punch off. Will they look to go back in though? Ah, oh, they're maybe a little bit too spread. They weren't. Uh, comfortable going in. Um, so you said a damage item. They have Bulwark on Cthulhu, so probably not the Demonic, which I, I while you were gone, I said he could either go Demonic or Staff, but I suppose there are some other options he could go for as well. He goes Frostfield Plate. Yeah, if anything. maybe gotten the Hellflower. That way, over the uh, for the spin. Yeah. They need, like, they need to all in the FA. If they don't do that, they will he'll kill the entire team. So they need to kill him first. It's not, it's not an option for them to go back line. I and mean, if anything, he FA takes more mana combustion when the shrunken's down. So he he really has only the shrunken timing to work with. Yeah. And it's you know it, there's a little counter synergy with the minus. Attack speed aura with the sp spins, like not too bad, but it will mean he's spinning slightly less. Um, but it is a really big item if they can use it in the next. Oh, no, no, the FA has to get caught here in the top lane. Yep. He's got his shunken head still. He gets stunned up. He didn't use the shunken. It's gonna be very, very late. And I think he's gonna get caught here. Gets the incense off, goes for a slam. But... He's gonna kill me though there. But I would have liked to see him just shrunk and TP back. Yeah, Deadwood was not in the area. Which maybe yes, he, he didn't, didn't know. know. That. Yep. 
but then he should have still pressed the trunk and when he ran away instead of getting stunned and then trunking when they don't have any stunts left. But mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I think we're just kind of seeing the beginning of the end here now. As uh, Forsaken's almost at 700, this rack's gonna fall. They're trying to counter push the bot lane, but. Bottom, but Aluna sniped the wave. Unfortunately, this catapult survived, so the tower is actually gonna fall. The second set of racks gonna go down here without any kind of defense. I think we just got Mega Creeps. Yep. We'll see if any team fight breaks out here, but almost. Yeah, maybe one more minute. Yeah, I still have the token. So, they're gonna go in on the Gladiator here with the Stasis Smash. He's got a demonic, he gets stormed. Here comes the Shatter Storm. They're gonna take out more or less everybody when it's all said and done. And yeah, kind of anticlimactic finish here, but I think we kind of foresaw this ending kind of trending here with the uh, Forsaken kind of doing very well in comparison to the Benzington. So, I'm not super surprised by the ending here, but Willowkeeper going to take game three here. It's going to bump them up two games to one.